the expansion continues, our forecast of 3.9% growth for this year and next is unchanged, but the expansion is also less balanced. We have downgrades for Europe and Japan, while the U.S. continues to grow strongly. In the emerging world, some countries are up, some are down. In the emerging world, some countries are up, some are down. Well, we now project that the risks are more tilted to the downside even in the near term. And the biggest of these risks is the risk that the current trade tensions escalate into a cycle of protection and retaliation that takes a chunk out of growth. There are, of course, other risks which we have emphasized before. Uh, public debts, private debts are very high. And if financial conditions should tighten unexpectedly, this would put a lot of borrowers under strain. It would create a difficult situation for emerging markets as well. It would create a difficult situation for emerging markets as well. There are things countries can do on their own. There are things they have to do together. On their own, all countries need growth-enhancing structural reforms. Many need to rebuild fiscal buffers because the next recession will definitely come. But the multilateral system and multilateral cooperation really need continued attention. In the trade area, this is particularly urgent. There's a lot of room to improve the functioning of the global trade system. But there are also continuing challenges from climate change, from international taxation, from global imbalances, from migration, where countries need to get together and come up with common solutions.